Oh, we're, we're delighted with our success rates. Um, I mean, of course, we're always striving for, for, for higher success rates. Um, you know, we're, we're at the point now where we're, uh, we're, we're never going to be able to increase success rates, you know, by another 10% uh, unless some, something new comes along, some new technology that, that hasn't been invented yet comes along. But we're always striving for that, that 1% or 2% more all the time. Uh, we, we, we're, we're, we're never happy to sit back and, and rest in our laurels. We're, we're always striving to get the best results for our patients whenever we possibly can. The keys to our success rates uh, are, there, there are several of, of, of them. Um, obviously the, the ability to provide uh, uh, young donors with proven fertility is, is one. Um, we, we, we can't get donors in Ireland um, uh, who, who, are, who have had their family uh, and who are, are prepared to donate because uh, people in Ireland and, and the UK as well um, are starting their families much later. So by the time they've, they've had their own children, uh, they, they are uh, older than we would like for an egg donor, um, whereas in the Eastern Europe um, uh, people are still having their, their children starting their families in, in their early 20s, uh, which means by the time they've completed their families they're, they're still sort of, uh, under 30 uh, in, in a lot of cases and uh, they're then able to donate. Um, the other issues uh, that, that go with our success rates are, are cryopreservation rates. They, they, we we're certainly have good technique in the lab. Um, our, um, our protocols and procedures um, help us with that as well. Um, we, we, we run things in the Ukraine uh, as if uh, it's the lab in Dublin, so they worked at our procedures and protocols out there as well. Uh, and we're working to EU guidelines and standards then throughout that.